Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm super excited for this week's video, mainly because uh, at this point right now that I'm filming this, I kind of already know what they're gonna look like and how they're turning out because I have been working on this and they're looking so cool so far. So what we're doing this week is we're gonna make some skeleton leaves. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before, but it's kind of where you take a leaf and you kind of strip it of its leaf pulp um, to leave the skeleton of the leaf, which is like, you know, the little veins in the leaf. It's so cool looking. So if you guys are interested to see how I made the skeleton leaves and how they're gonna look in resin, then continue watching. So I have been through the process of stripping it of its pulp. So it is a really long process. I found it to be very difficult, but we are going to jump to me and I'm gonna show you guys kind of how I did everything. And then later we're also gonna put them in resin and make some resin pieces with them. So let's go. We are at the design house now. So I kind of just before we jump into like mixing up resin and putting these leaves in resin, I did kind of want to walk you through my process because I was kind of following the directions, but I also kind of wasn't because some of the directions weren't really working for me. So I kind of like improvised and I feel like I just want to share like what I found to be really useful just in case anybody else is trying this because making skeleton leaves was actually really hard. And I don't know if that's like a known thing um, but I had no idea how hard it was going to be and it was really, really difficult. So it says to boil half a cup of washing soda along with enough water to cover the leaves in a pot. Um, my first tip is to use a pot that you're n probably not going to use again because this ruined the pot I used. Might have just been because of the type of pot I used, but it kind of like eroded the bottom. It was really weird. So you bring the water and the washing soda to a boil and once it's boiling, you can kind of turn down the heat and then have it simmer for 90 minutes to two hours. So I did go to the two hour mark and then I would take them out. And at this point I was wearing latex gloves, you know, like just regular yellow dishwashing gloves. Uh, I took them out with a pair of tongs that I had and then I would lay them on a towel just to kind of like have them chill out, have them relax. You know, they were boiling in some green goop just a second ago. So I took them out, put them on a towel and then one by one, I would kind of take them and put them in my hand at first and try, try to just get like the, what I'm assuming was a layer of the washing soda that kind of like stays on the leaf. So I would kind of just use my hands and rub that off. And then once I felt like most of that was off, I would kind of lay the leaf in my sink and use a paintbrush. And with like just a very like low setting of hot water, um, kind of like pouring into the sink, I would use the paintbrush to like very gently brush off the pulp, flip it over and then do the same on the other side. But eventually, you do get it to be a skeleton leaf. So from there, I did pour a bit of bleach into kind of, you know, some kind of Tupperware that I had. Um, and then I poured probably around a cup of water. Um, it did say in the directions to just kind of soak it in bleach, but I was kind of afraid to put them in just bleach. So I did dilute it with some water and I had them sit in there for 20 minutes, like the directions say and they did come out pretty white and they i love them i'm about to show you in a second i love how they came out i think they're super pretty the process was very difficult so now that we're all caught up i'm going to show you my leaves so here's one so i'm going to use my hair to kind of show you guys what it looks like but this is one of them i like I can't believe it came out this pretty. So the rest of the ones that I made basically all look like that one. You'll see them up close once we start working on our piece. But I also wanted to show you this one. I do have another one that's like this. I didn't make these into skeleton leaves myself, but these are actually what inspired this video for me to try this. One of my friends, Alora, had these on the bottom of her car, on the floor of her car, and she pulled them out and gave them to me. So I'm gonna use these as well, but I just wanted to show you guys and let you know that I didn't do these ones, but they are what inspired this video. Okay, so we're gonna get started on some pieces. I think I wanna do a set of coasters. So I have these like geode-shaped coaster molds, and I think I wanna make a set of four of these. 
and then I'll probably do the set of coasters with the leaves that I made and then with this moon mold I kind of want to do the leaves that Alora gave me from the bottom of her car so and I'll probably also put some dried flowers in the moon piece as well so we're gonna get started I am gonna be mixing up some casting resin and then putting the leaves like right in because I'm, I'm anxious to get the leaves in the resin because I, I'm nervous that they're just gonna like, I'm gonna tear them somehow because they're just so delicate. So I'm eager to get them in the resin. So we're gonna get started. Okay, you guys, so it's the next day and we're about to pop out all the pieces that we made with our skeleton leaves. Confession, I did pop one out because I just wanted to make sure that it did the thing, that it looks cool, that you can actually see it. And I did discover that the pigment that I used to do the last layer, like the black backing part, you know, it does have like some gold reflect in it, but I thought it would be black enough that you'd be able to see it. And you can see the leaves, but it's just not like, nighttime black so that it really makes the leaf stand out so you still can see it but I do suggest that if you do anything like this to make sure that you use like a really really black pigment to make the leaf like really pop out because mine I do wish were a little bit more black on the back on the very like last layer of it so that you could see it a little bit better but 
I do still really love them. So here is the one I popped out and this lighting, like I'm surrounded by big lights right now, so it's really hard for me to show you properly, but I also took a leafing pen around the edges here and on the sides to really make the leaf like pop out a little bit more. And I think that that really finished it for me. Like it makes it look really pretty. Plus these are like geode shaped coasters. So I feel like that kind of like fits in with it. So I'm just gonna pop out the other coasters now. Again, this lighting is so bad. I feel like in the viewfinder, you can't even tell that there's a leaf in there, but like in real life, you really can see it. And it looks so cool. I will be painting like the sides and the edges with a gold leafing pen to kind of make it pop out a little bit more. And I'll also show you guys close up clips of all the pieces that we made, of course, so that you guys can see them a little bit better. So here is the next one. I wish there was like a better angle I could show you this so you guys could see them a little bit better and it's not just like the same repetitive, like can't really see anything. And here's the last one. So here's what, here's what the moon looks like. It only wants to focus on my face right now and the lighting is kind of like way too bright for you to see anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint the edges and the sides of all the coasters. And I think I'm honestly gonna paint the sides of this moon piece as well with my gold leafing pen. So I will be right back. Okay, so all of our pieces are painted and they are beautiful. I feel like the gold paint just finishes it and it gives it that vibe. I don't know what it is, but it's just beautiful. I love them. I love how they turned out. I do wish that I had done a more solid black backing, but other than that, I'm obsessed with how these look. I love the look of skeleton leaves. So here's some close up clips of these pieces so you guys can see them a bit better. How they turned out for me does make the tedious process of making skeleton leaves kind of worth it honestly let me know what you guys think of skeleton leaves and the pieces that we made with them and i hope that you enjoyed this video make sure you're subscribed to my channel and follow me on instagram it is at artsy mad woman i love you guys to absolute death and i will see you in the next video goodbye <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> and how we're gonna put them into resin. <laughs> Why do I have to sing everything? I don't know, I don't know. You kind of like turn it down and have it simmer for our har. <laughs> okay, you guys, so it's the next day and we're about to pop out all the pieces that we made with the <laughs> skeleton. 
Oh, that was like no face. gold. All right, my loves, it is time for the Halloween question because for some reason I've made this a thing at the end of my videos. We've talked about Halloween movies, Halloween candy, and now I think I want to ask you guys what you're going to be dressing up as. I know that this Halloween is very different, but I'm still dressing up and I'm still going to hang out in my costume in my apartment. So if you guys are dressing up and you're going to hang out in your houses, in your apartments, in your homes, then I wanna know what you're gonna dress up as. Please let me know. I honestly was thinking about doing Scar because I, I shamelessly know every single word to be prepared. I just do, I just do. And I think Scar is really cool. <laughs> so I might just end up doing like, you know, some spooky makeup, some like glam kind of spooky makeup and be like sort of a witch. I know that that's kind of lazy, but I think I can make it cool, you know, like with some crazy eye makeup and then I have some like Halloween masks. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let me know what you guys are doing for Halloween. And I thank you guys so much for watching to the very last clip. You guys, you right there are my people and I love you with all of my heart and my soul. I thank you so much for watching <laughs> to the end of the day. It's so perfect that this is in a blooper. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!